So welcome to our group. Thanks so much for coming. A therapy group for young people with eating disorders and a safe space for them to talk and to be heard. Significant new funding for child and adolescent mental health services in Greater Manchester has allowed Pennine Care NHS Foundation Trust to work in partnership with young people to redesign how it delivers care and treatment and to find new opportunities to promote healthy young minds. We've always supported children and young people with an eating disorder but it feels like it's becoming more prevalent and more of an issue. And actually there was a need for a, a specialist resource to be developed. There's so much evidence out there now about what works, what doesn't work. And in partnership with our commissioners, we were able to work collaboratively to develop our community eating disorder service. The service known as KEDS for short has opened two community hubs, one here in Bury and the other in Stockport, both outside of a hospital setting. KEDS is for children and young people aged up to 19, and 16 to 18 year olds can refer themselves without seeing a GP or a medical professional first. The fact that it's in a town centre, it's open access, so anybody from a young person to an adult who might have a concern or a question about eating disorders can get advice and support. And the, the people that we've got working here only work with young people with eating disorders so they've developed a real expertise and I think you can see that young people want to make it their space. Self-referral is key, the fact that people can refer themselves into the service and the service will triage very quickly to assess for urgency within the one week and the four week waiting time standards that we work towards, the fact that we're offering evidence-based interventions, a specialist intervention and we're offering a range of other services which include support to parents, groups and workshops which makes it a really flexible and modern offer. And the team also provides home-based treatment including interventions such as mealtime support. Right, we just have some breakfast and we we'll talk about what's going to happen with the rest of the day. Jade is 18 and in recovery from her anorexia nervosa. A period of inpatient care and now close support in the community has helped her change her view of the world. So much so, she's busy planning trips to visit much of it. When you first come out of hospital, you're still quite vulnerable to just relapse because you've gone from 24-7 support with like constant staff members being there to suddenly, OK, now you're at home by yourself. Just knowing that you've got somebody just kind of like pour your heart out with, like really helps you because it's always based on what you want to talk about. Pennine Care also provides two hospital-based units in its Child and Adolescent Mental Health Service, or CAMS for short. These have been developed in close partnership with young people to ensure a welcoming environment. The community teams work hard to support young people in their recovery and to keep them out of hospital whenever it's safe and possible to do so. Of course, there will always be occasions when a hospital stay may be appropriate. And Pennine Care's inpatient CAMS is among only a few in the country to be rated outstanding by the Care Quality Commission. We've managed to avoid admission for a number of young people who previously would have had to be admitted immediately to hospital. We've also reduced the length of stay of hospital admissions by working with young people to enable them to be discharged and supported in the community. And I think what's been really positive is the involvement of recovered young people and their parents who are now contributing to service delivery. KEDS has already exceeded the number of young people it was expected to see each year and the team continues to look at ways to improve quality and to innovate. It's also a great time to work for Pennine Care's CAMS with real opportunities to make a profound difference to the lives of children and young people.